Hello IT pros, uh, welcome back to my IT workshop. This is Alvendril, and it has been a while since I have reviewed one of the things I like the most, which are wireless speakers. So in this case, in this video, we are going to open this little guy I received in the mail. So it's called NAT speaker, so you can see it there. And we're going to open it and test it. So I like the box, I like how it looks, how simple it is. Um, the design is good. <laughs> what else can I say? It looks good. So now we're going to unbox it. And now it's pretty easy to open. You can see that. And we have this back. And inside this back, we have the actual wireless speaker, the NAT speaker. So as you can tell, it resembles a NAT. I like the feeling in my hand. It's very, very smooth. It feels like wood, most likely it's not wood, but it feels like it, so I like that a lot. And I don't feel any rough edges, it's very polished, it's very well done, in my opinion. So you can see there the speaker, we're going to test it in a few more seconds. And it has this hanger, so you can put it anywhere you, you want. It doesn't have to be on a table or something, it can be in a higher place. Now, what else we have here? So we have the classic USB micro USB charger. I wish they were USB-C by this time, but what, what, what can you do? And I always complain about the, the cable being super short. But at this point, most likely you have many other micro USB at home. So now we have also the micro, uh, not the microphone, we have also the manual and the characteristics are this. Uh, this, use, this device uses a lithium rechargeable battery. It needs between 1.5 to 2 hours for a full charge. After that, it can, it can last up to 8 hours. The range in an open area and an open room, it's 32 feet or almost 10 meters. The dimensions, you can see them there. It weigh, the weight, it's very light, 6.6 .6 grams or 0 0.146 pounds. Uh, it uses Bluetooth 5.0. The audio power is 2 watts, so we're going to test it in a few more seconds. It uses micro USB, it has a built-in microphone, and you can see the temperature at which it works correctly. So you can avoid exposing it to super, super hot places or super, cold, or super cold places. So now, as you can see, this is the uh, micro USB, and on top of that it has the built-in microphone. So this is the power button, I'm going to press it for a few seconds. You heard the noise, and that means it's on. And it's blinking blue because it's looking something to pair with. So I'm going to use my desktop computer, but of course you can use your cell phone, your tablet, or any other device. So you heard the beep, that means it's pair, it's not blinking anymore. So we're going, I'm going to play one of my videos, so we test the sound. Hello IT Pros, and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is Alvendril, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a bootable USB to install Windows 10. So, you can see uh, the sound is coming with no problems. Uh, the, uh, the pair was really easy, but we're going to continue now. We are also going to show you Windows 8 and Windows 7. This video is for Windows 10, but... You... So that's the lowest volume. Okay. So as you can notice here, we're in my desktop computer. You can see that the icons are a little bigger, so you can see it better. So the first thing we are going to need is, of course, a USB. And as you can see here, this is my PC. I have three hard drives, and the last one, Win 10, I just named it that, is a USB. So this is the one we are going to use. As you can see, it's empty. I'm just showing you this because when we create the tool, everything that you have in the USB is going to be deleted. So keep that in mind. So now I'm going to um, go to properties for the USB and you can see that it's 16 gigabytes. You need at least eight because you know, Windows 10 is growing all the time, more updates and more updates. So for the moment you need eight. This one is 16. So that was the loudest it can go. So in my opinion, the, the sound is pretty clear. I don't hear any distortions or anything. So I like that a lot. So it's working well, it has good sound quality. So we're going to continue testing it. It's way more than we need, but that's what I have. All right. So uh, the next thing is I'm going to show you where to download the tool. So we open the web browser and we're going to go to the Microsoft website. Now, all the links I'm showing you here is going to be in the video description below. All right. So this one is for Windows 10. As you can see there, create Windows 10 installation video. 
Now I'm going to do another test. It has only one button. So with this one, you can pause, yeah, that button, or you can resume anything that you are playing. So we're going to test that right now. I'm going to play some sound. Website is from Microsoft, so it's I press it and the, sound, and the sound stops. So now I'm going to press it again to resume it. You can read it, but basically it explains you what we So that's all the only button that it has does. That this one doesn't have volume button, so you cannot adjust it from the device itself. I test the microphone uh, with a short call with another person, and this uh, the microphone quality is good enough in my opinion. I'm not going to use this device to answering calls or anything, but you can answer a call when you receive it, pressing the button there, and you can end the call by pressing it again. So I'm going to use it um, for music, most likely. Well, what else can you use it for? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to use it for music when I'm working out, when I'm cleaning, or and when I don't want to have my cell phone in my pocket or something, because this guy is way lighter than any other cell phone, all right? So I like the sound a lot, and uh, other thing that I like a lot about this device is the price. It's less than $20, which means it can be a good gift for a friend for a birthday. And besides, since it looks pretty good and it feels pretty good in the hands, it can be used as a decoration. So if you like this video, you can check these, uh, these wireless speakers in the video description below. And maybe you can, you are going to like these other two videos about another wireless speaker and another wireless headphones that I like a lot. So thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.